guys. What are we gonna do today? If you guys have already seen, I've posted some pictures of this wonderful um, journal scroll that we did, or you could use it as a long piece of art. So today I'm just gonna kind of walk you through what I did with this, and hopefully that just shows you so easily without actually doing the project that you guys could do this yourself. Let's get started. So the first thing I did, because I really love this entomology dictionary page, and this is decoupage paper, and I really, really wanted to use this. I cut it into three, because it's just a teeny bit bigger in the center, so it's just on the inside of this line here and here all the way down. This is 30 inch paper, or 30 inches long, so I ended up with 90 inches when I cut the three panels out. And after I had cut this, really love this African stars, and I knew I wanted to use this with this paper. So I just cut one inch strips, and I think I ended up cutting six, which makes sense because it's 30 inches long also to go on the border. So I cut six one inch strips off of this. I cut some freezer paper, probably just bigger than I needed, maybe 95 inches long. And then I measured out how big this would be. So I took the two inches plus the center piece, and I believe this is like seven and a half, eight inches. So depending on how, how big your border is, is how wide you're gonna want your freezer paper. And then I cut that all the way down, 95 inches. When I cut my freezer paper to the size I wanted, and it was like 95 inches by how wide you want it, I laid down my one inch of um, African stars on both sides, and then I also laid down my entomology down the center. And then I even did one at the top and the bottom. And then what I would do is lay my parchment paper over the top of those when they're lined up and do one section at a time. Then I ironed them down. And it would adhere well enough to stay on there so I could sew it. And it wouldn't move around to on me. So when it's all ironed down, you're going to take your piece of freezer paper with your decoupage paper on top of it that's been ironed and I did a zigzag stitch all the way down in of the large zigzag in between the entomology and the African stars. You know, you could even do one along the edges if you want it extra secure. So the next thing I did when that is all done, I took some of my fronds transfer, some greenery. You know, if you had some, um, just greenery images. You could even decoupage those down, but I just really liked using these transfers. So I just took some of these, cut them out, and just added them in from the fronds. And then I added some of the entomology transfers, whether it was bugs or frogs or birds or dragonflies, and I used my transfer stick. And if you don't know how to use those, I have other videos that show you that. And then the final step, I just used a clear wax and I put a clear wax over the whole thing first, and then I added a little dark wax on top over the clear so that um, I could rub some of it back. If you use your dark wax first, it will just soak into the paper and get very dark and you cannot lighten it up. But if you use a clear wax first, then if you add too much dark, you can rub that out. When I'm all done with my piece, I just used a rolling pin and I put some dark wax on it to age it. You could use anything you would like or you could actually use those wooden poster holders with magnets and hang it as one long piece of art. But I just rolled it up in here and I'm gonna secure the end inside and just roll it up and at the very, very end, I just sewed a piece of fabric onto this and when I roll it around, if you wanted it for a journal or something to write on, you can just take it, tack it under, and it keeps it secure. Okay, this was short, fast, quick, sweet. Hopefully you like this idea. But you could use this with any of the papers, come up with your own idea, or just do one just like this. But whatever you do, have fun.